thanks to every day above ground You never know when your life will go done Whether you're rich or poor The wicked pen man I give you one more Yes, yes, yes. Jing Mulling some Red Mirror here. AK Wicked Penman, you already know what it is. What's going on? Alright. Sun's about to set, so I'm gonna try and keep this straight to the point. Nice and sweet, you know? Should probably have changed the filter on this. This might come out a little bit dark. Oh, hang on. I'm going to have to adjust this on the fly. All right. There you go. A little more light. I'm going to lose some color, but my bad. Today's video is about <laughs> confidence. Right. So, when I'm doing my videos out in public, all right, it's not a simple matter of Sometimes I can't project myself at the loudest because number one, you're being considerate. Number two, there are people who can hear you. And number three, it's like, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I want my recording to be consistent, you know? I'm not trying to be, you know, I plan for a tone of voice that I'm going to deliver in kind of consistently. People find my voice to be monotone anyway. We've already had this conversation if you've, if you've watched them. Um, any of my content before and people make whatever assumptions they want based on my voice all the time people call me rude they call me arrogant they call me this they call me that but someone the other day actually told me i did not sound confident so i was like well hey what does confidence on me sound like and then, but then it's funny as well because this goes with music right your ears the way our brains work and again this might sound a bit bro sciencey don't quote me on this but the way our brains work, and then you can hear you can hear the drone. Let, let me fly towards Wimbledon this time. Um, which is that away? Yeah, let's go that way. Yeah. Oh, let's have a look. Well, I'll go on down here. Not too, not nothing too tough, and it's dark, so let's not do that. Yeah. Right, sorry, let me get back to the reasoning. The reasoning and the season, you know? Nah, we got face where the light is. The light is more this side. I wanted to go that way, but yeah, the light's not allowing for such. Right, so that way it is. Yeah, confidence. So I was saying the way, of, the way our ears and our brain work is that they perceive louder to be better which is partly why engineering, producing, creating music is it's a, it's a battle against, especially like when you're mixing. And you know, I'm saying this as someone who's new to mixing, like I'm, not, not, I'm not the OG on the block. E ah, that's exactly what it was. Sorry, let me come back to it. You see the sun? Mm -mm, we can't, can't stay there. We'll just get, I really should change this filter. I'm so sorry, people. Let me give you some sky instead. All right, that better. And just fly a bit further out so you don't hear the propellers. I am ending up going towards Wimbledon after all of that. There's um, there's centre court right there. That's centre court. There's the Morrisons. Right, so... When I did the video talking about the EP, and I described all the tracks and such. It was fine until until um, the part where I said I'd never engineered um, tracks before, I'd never mastered tracks like that before. So I'm hoping people like it. That's not me being, that's not me showing I don't, I have a lack of confidence in what I've done. I'm just being open and transparent about the fact that I'd never done it before. Oh look, look, there's a plane. See it? Dope. Right. And I was like, that's not that's not showing a lack of confidence that's not what that is it's just it's a simple truth it's a fact what would you rather have what would you have me do like not be aware of you know like the situation and like oh this is not something you've ever done before not not building in an excuse if people don't like it but at least people understand that oh wow like 
this is the first time you've gone the entire way with the song, like everything. It's one thing to write, record and produce, right? It's another thing completely to take up the, the you know, the mixing and mastering. Because those are normally parts where even your most skilled producer, even your most skilled artist, they usually have people that mix and master their stuff for them. It's not something they all do. I don't see how I could sound or whatever way I'm supposed to deliver that information for people to go, oh, yeah, well, you sounded very confident, very confident about you could like I had come. And in fact, I said what was kind of inspiring me and what was pushing me and, and how like, obviously, I appreciated the fact that I was able to overcome the fact that I didn't have the most amount of experience when doing it. I don't see how that makes me sound like I like confident. That, that to me is crazy. But then it just kind of got me around to thinking in general, like it's funny how people register confidence in others. And then even when you yourself are saying you feel confident, it's still not enough for them. That's that's very wild, isn't it? Like it's strange. What, what are we doing right now? That better be a dog you're filming and not me. Exactly. Turns around instantly. Mm. I wonder why. Ugh. Anyway, there's a big old park here. Not many of us. Still people find their way into your orbit. No matter how much space there is between you and I, still find a way to get all close to you. I don't know what that is about, but anyway, let me continue. Yeah, the people are always telling you what confidence is supposed to look like in other people instead of letting you identify what confidence is for you. Right? Especially when you're telling people like, look, I, and it's funny because people that know me say I don't like confidence, which is true, I don't. But at the same time, I'm self-aware. There are, there are certain things that are beyond my powers. There's some things I can't do. No amount of confidence is going to change that. And we're doing this again. Then again, do you know what I can do now? Let me turn this around. Let me, let me get the drone back around here. Let's see how much a dog likes that. Like, he's just decided he's doing a photo shoot with me in the background of his, like, anyway. <sighs> but yeah, confidence. Um, I just want to say that I'm, I'm always confident. And I, my voice is the way it is. And like I said, there is certain times when I project higher and there are other times when it's just not, con like I said, it would, to me, it would just be rude to be all shouting and projecting at the top of your voice. Yes, it would, it would come out nicer on the video, but it's, it's not no different. The information I'm delivering is the same information. I, I really wish people could stick to that. But then, you know, like I said, your ears perceive louder as being better. Or I guess higher pitch is in to be higher energy. That's a, another thing that I came, or another um, misconception I used to come across a lot. As a, like when I was applying for jobs and stuff, they would say, you know, like your your voice lacked energy or whatever, whatever, whatever. When it's like, this is how my voice is. You're just not hearing what you want to hear. I don't have one of these high pitched, you know, that, or, you know, I have that corporate voice. The voice changes when you're around certain people. I sound how I sound and that's the end of that. And even that itself, I wouldn't say that's a confidence thing. That's just a me thing. That's just how I am. Right. Where, where I normally derive my confidence from is the simple fact that there is only but one me. There is no one like me. So why would I ever need to doubt? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I just believe, yeah, I believe in, I believe in myself with my source and what I'm trying to do. And I know that when I'm dedicated to something, I usually get results. That's, that's really, it's really as simple as that. It's almost like a matter of, um, of logic to me. Like there is no reason at all for me not to be confident, none. You know, and even even if it's a thing of like, like people talk about like insecurity, like why would I spend all my time focusing on what I'm insecure about as a way of eroding at my confidence? That also doesn't make sense to me. And I don't spend my time doing that, which is, again, partly why a lot of what people call confidence in me is I just call my core self and knowing who I am and knowing what I will and won't do and knowing that, you know, I have a, a very I'm very kind to myself in a way that 
you know you don't have to get things first time second time as long as you don't quit like you know that kind that's the kind of mentality i've always had what is going on right now you must be fighting the wind okay all right now we're letting dogs run wild around here are we when i came into this park Everyone had their dog in some, they were having like a dog conference or something. They were all in one space. I came and I found the most, the most remote part of the park to come and sit in. Uh, anyway, that's public spaces. And this is why maybe for like the next month, so maybe like September and such, I might just do indoor voiceovers, truthfully, you know? Um, Saving my voice now, that's another thing I should say, I guess, when it comes to projection of voice. If I speak my loudest and I'm speaking for like 20, my voice will fade. Not only will my voice fade out, I'll, I'll probably be hoarse for the rest of the day. So I just keep it to a level where it's comfortable. You can hear me. If anything, I, you know, I can boost the, the volume a few dB um, later on and so on. And then, you know, just make sure it's clean and coherent. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I, I, I've spoken quite enough, but yes, I don't like confidence people. Please, please stop telling me things like this. I, I, I don't, yeah, it just annoys me now. I don't want to hear this anymore. Um, also, if you don't, if you're not, if you, you know, you've only heard one, one video and you've only, only heard my voice once, how are you going to tell me what confidence sounds like? Like, how does that work? You know? I think I think some people derive confidence from trying to erode other people's confidence as well. That's something that I've noticed in some like well they call it negging now, right? Oh yeah, it's definitely sunset has definitely happened. Hold on, let me brighten up. Let me brighten up a little bit. And there you go. Just to try and save some of this. Because I've I've really got the wrong filter on, so it looks darker than it is, but I don't wanna I don't wanna stretch the picture too far. Because then it will look, it will end up looking there. Um, but yeah, command your own confidence. That's the first thing. Don't let people convince you to be confident or not confident. You know, and that's if you're going to take advice from anyone on confidence, take that from me. Control confidence. Like that's you. That's your job. It's your job to be confident. It's your job to make sure no one can kind of. You know, come and tell you up is down and down is up. You control that. And from you control that, you again, some people might act funny style because of that. Of course, like it, it will happen. You know, they'll start moving a certain way and start moving brand new and oh, you're arrogant or you've changed or whatever. But that's the kind of change that I don't think anyone should have any issue with. Right. Yeah. The filter I have on is too strong for this type of light. It's not even the most aggressive filter, but <sighs> it's England, isn't it? The light, the light, especially once you go past that peak, you have like a peak in 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 the weather that happens around so around early late July, yeah, late July, early August. It's beautiful. It's bright. Oh my God, this is amazing! Yay! Why do I? Yeah, like. Summer in England is not too bad, and then you end up with, you know, the the hormonal weather that changes, like the, the you know. Anyway, so essentially we got a beautifulish sun sunset. This is not, yeah, this is weird. This is not bright enough, dark enough, sorry, for you to see for me to look directly at the sun. But then it's not light enough for like this. So this looks terrible and dark. This is bright, yeah. So really and truly, I should have just stayed like here. Let me stop mumbling, rambling. Jay Mullings from Rent Mirror, AK Wikipedman, and I'm out.